Hello, I'm Chris Hammond from Lakeland Auto Marine. There's been some questions about how a coil and a resistor work together, so we're going to demonstrate how it works. What we have here, we have a battery supply. Um, this is just a jump pack, 12 volts, positive and negative. 12 volts through this jumper wire setup. Goes here to our ballast resistor. Um, right now it's terminated because we're not using it yet. Uh, and our distributor, uh, this is a brand new press light distributor. Points are closed at this time. And I just got my ground wire hooked to the bottom of the distributor and it goes back to our battery. Okay, so open circuit voltage. We've got power here coming through our resistor. It's 12.67 volts. Okay, we're not connected to the coil, it's 12.67 volts. Now at our battery, we're gonna measure right here, 12.4. Gonna come over here 12.54 okay we got open circuit voltage now we're gonna flow current we're gonna hook this up in fact I'm gonna leave it hooked right there 12 and I'm gonna hook it right to here just drop to 5.5 as soon as the load is applied I remove the load wires disconnected from the coil back up to battery voltage even though I am still running through a ballast resistor. That is normal. Hook it back up down to 5.6. I'm going to open the points. Hopefully I don't get zapped. We're back up to 12.5. Okay. The circuit is open because the points are open. We're going to close the points. 5.2. Unhook. 12.50. So that goes to show you, just because you have a resistor in the circuit, you don't know it until you flow current. 